All right, gamers, we are back for another episode of Velos to Diamond. This game, we're going to be playing Aphelios Ash into Twitch ADC. Just Twitch ADC, no support, I don't think. Because it seems like the enemy team has two junglers. And what other role would the second jungler be assigned to except support? Actually, I ran cleanse because I was like, ooh, that's, that's going to be like a poppy top team with support, right? And I was thinking, it's very weird that two videos in a row, I'm starting off the first game against the team with support. What are the odds of that? But no. The odds apparently were extremely low, because apparently it's not it. So we're just going to be laning. Ooh. I should go and try and help Diana. Oh, that's going to be too late. I think Diana's dead anyway. Ash just does not move, though. <laughs> I'm not going to leave my farm, but my support has no reason to stay here. She should be helping my jungler. Damn. Yeah, no bad damage. Just gonna focus on freezing or slow pushing. I probably already fucked up a chance to get a freeze actually, which is unideal. Freezing is the best thing you can do in a 1v2 lane though. Just deny the Twitch getting any farm whatsoever. Especially also, like, the one thing that can go wrong for us here is if we get ganked and it turns into 2v2 or even worse, 3v2. And then we fall behind in, a, in what is technically a 1v2 lane, right? Okay, we see Kindred top, so we know if we get ganked by anybody, it's gonna be Poppy. Let us switch the red. Not getting a chance to use many red Qs since Twitch is just permanently zoned. Anyway, this should now probably be convertible into a freeze. Because this is such a big wave now that uh, their minions will... Um, start pushing towards us. Unfortunately, I didn't mean to drag these out. Uh, I should stop hitting the wave as well. I'm going to tell her actually in chat that we should freeze. Oh my god, my spelling there was terrible. Whatever. <clears throat> Scopeless award, we never know when we might get ganked by Poppy. Oh, there she is. So now you can see, because it's on their side of the map, the wave was on their side of the map, and it still is. Um, their wave gets more help sooner than our wave does. Oh no. And it turns into a push to our side, which is exactly what Twitch wants to avoid. Oh no, I fucked up. Ah, now I've ruined the chance to have a triple weapon combo. My bad. Triple weapon combo could have easily either killed him or just forced him out of lane. Shit, this is too big to freeze now, unfortunately. That gank just kind of ruined our wave management. Because we spent a lot of time instead of managing the wave, just having to run away from them. Sad. So we're going to want to just slow push that wave, or, well, crash it, whatever. Well, not crash it, but push it, either way, and then just try and crash this wave. Hopefully we don't get ganked during this. Ideally, I probably should have, uh, like, pushed the other wave slower. Just so I'm in a safer spot when I push this wave. Okay. There we go. Sadly, I didn't get the plating. Maybe I should have gone for that, actually. I was pretty close to it. Wouldn't have been too much risk. Okay, so... As of patch 13.11, I think probably the best first item on a fellas is gonna be Kraken Slayer. Maybe not Stormers anymore. Although, I mean, well... I suppose in a game like this, like against a pretty much full ranged comp, we could actually just go with the, Kra with the uh, Stormers there. I think for sure against melee champions, especially tankier ones, even if it's not full tanks. 
Kraken Slayer has started to get a lot more value again. But actually, yeah, in a game like this, we'll just do Storm Razor. Oh, this guy's already level 6. That's crazy. So we've already kind of failed at our... Like, we got a CS lead, but... We've completely failed at actually shutting down the Twitch. This is not good. Ash is actually terrible. Like, he could honestly just 1v2 because we don't have hard CC or burst. That's bad. Okay, I'm gonna do Q Max into E Max as well. Gonna try that out because I haven't done it in a while. <clears throat> uh, we can try and help. Nice one. Nice help. Let's just get rid of purple. Oh, wait, what? How was she that low? I didn't even notice. Well, that sucks. Yes, yeah, like I said, like it's it's really hard to punish him at this point. We already failed. We should have been freezing at the start and zoning him from XP. We should have ended up uh, behind the XP, even though he was getting solo XP. He doesn't have ult now, so even though I'm running out of chakrams, I can use white ult to get some more. Just gonna stand pretty far up in my way, but not too far away, trying to bait him to all in me if he's gonna stealth onto me. Yeah, I guess he's not. Might actually just be basing. Let's crash the wave then. Oh, damn it. Would have preferred it to be a solo planning, but I will. Leave the wave. I only want to get the plating. Okay. We're good. Good them. I hate that the planings are tankier than they used to be. It's messed up my perception of how long it'll take to get one. It's gonna take a while to get used to. Got a pretty solid CS lead, but I was gonna say his one kill makes up for that, and uh, the second kill will uh, make him ahead of me in gold as well. At least I got Cullen, he doesn't, but still. She has exhaust as well, she could have. She, she has both summoners up, she could have easily survived there. What's Poppy doing actually? Well, she's 20 CS down on Diana, but has a lot more kills than Diana. Looks like this route is working pretty well. It's sad because it's mostly a combination of um, like how useless Ash support actually is in, a puni in punishing something like this. And also just the fact that I messed up the wave management very early on, where I accidentally turned it into a slow push instead of a freeze, when I'm sure he ended me a freeze that I could have taken advantage of. But then that's the one mistake at one stage of the game. And then we had another chance to try and create a freeze. But it, it just got undone by the enemies ganking us and forcing us to back off and forcing the wave to get too big to freeze. And from then on, it's just been fucked. Like, Twitch had more XP than me at that point. He had level 6 while I was level 4, and it's just been doomed. From here on, I'm basically uh, relying on getting carried by my team because I'm not going to be able to out-impact Twitch except if he plays terribly. Triple up and combo. Wow. 
Nah, not worth ulting. I think I'll just base here, because it's too risky to try and farm when there's a Twitch on the loose. Oh damn, Kindred is hurled. Yeah, the main reason why Ash support is so bad for punishing a lane like this is she didn't didn't really have much poke to punish twitch under turret whenever we push that in she also definitely does not have engage until level six and the engage is ideally what we would have wanted especially during a slow push um like the only way to punish uh, 1v2 during a slow push is if you can engage onto the adc oh. but ash has no engage with Hello Blades, it also might have been a little bit better because at least she would have had a bit more auto attack pressure. This is, this is actually so risky. Like, he might actually just be able to 1v2. He has cleanse, so the actual doesn't matter too much. I might have to just flash away if he tries to fight me. Okay, he's not gonna try though. We're getting a bigger wave now too. Yeah, at least we still got a pretty solid CS lead. And... Yeah, we'll want to do guild for us here. It's really good against Twitch if you're playing in a mobile ADC like a Phileos. Since Twitch is sort of a like a soft counter to mobile in immobile ADCs. They're the ones that you can mostly easily engage on and kite while not letting them hit him back or being or letting them able to escape. But if you can actually escape or if you can actually close the gap, then it gives you, you know, two options. Either engage onto him instead of being kited by him, or just run away from him when he was expecting you to be a sitting duck. In fact, Gulfrost Rush wouldn't have been bad, actually. Now that I think about it. It's also good if you're facing, like, Misfortune. Since, once again, Misfortune ult is also, like, a soft counter to a mobile ADCs, because mobile ADCs can just dash out of it, and mobile ADCs are just, like, guaranteed to take a minimum amount of damage. Which is Bork. Yeah, I don't really have any vision, so let's back off here, actually. Oh boy. Okay. We weren't actually gonna kill her. I definitely couldn't hard commit onto her because of Twitch. She's get, probably gonna stick around and try and make a play with Twitch. Wait, what? Wait, Poppy can just cancel her ultimate and get it back? What? That's crazy. Oh, I'm actually dead now, I think. Bro, oh, this minion block. Nah, that sucks. I guess I should have red ulted, but... Bro, slowed by the Twitch W onto the minion block. Crazy. Anyway, my, well, sort of my bad. Not that there's much to do in a game like this. I think Ash was sitting on three wards there as well. Just refused to place anything. Kinda hard to play to see without vision. Oh, Reddit, so it's your thing.
I can try and help her. Ooh, damn. Just gonna walk away, no point chasing after him. Alright, anyway, one benefit of the lethality max is that it is like burst here against squishies. Ooh. Ah, damn it. Put him a nice uh, cancel of recall there. Maybe could get a kill. I can't really push mid, it's not really safe, I don't think. But I actually should probably just get into position just to... You know what, I actually probably can't get away with it, I think. It would actually come for me. I think we just saw Poppy recall. I couldn't really tell who was in that brush, but I think it was Poppy. And uh, now I'm dead. I think it's worth taking the risk, though. This game is doomed if we don't get any objective bounties. Or objectives, period. Hopefully Zed gets a ball in turf for that now, at least. <sighs> nice, right? Not worth three deaths for it, though. I was, so, I was hoping it would only be my death if I got punished there. Yeah, no, I was definitely greedy trying to actually commit for the turret, though. Because, obviously, the puppy recall happened ages ago, so you had plenty of time to actually get back to somewhere useful. <coughs> if anything, I should have been pushing sooner when I could actually see there was action on, like, the upside, or in the topside jungle, at least. Just for less, I don't think I've seen a single Ashul Tall game. She must have clearly used it because I can see it on cooldown now, but there was definitely never an Ashul Tunt Twitch. Never never even so much as trying to force his cleanse. Which we have to use for Syndra there. I had no idea she was here. I gotta leave in case I get flanked. She got another Herald to place. Hopefully that gets a cannon. Ah, I just targeted Kindred, that sucks. <laughs> What the hell? Wait. Ah, oh, my bad. I was trying to kill Kindred. <laughs> oh no. I didn't even get an assist on Kindred even though I hit her because she was taking no damage because of her ultimate. How did Teemo actually win that? That's crazy. At least it doesn't kill Ash. Well, yet. Now he kills Ash. <laughs> Yeah, it's a sad game for sure. A little bit unfortunate that my second attempt at freezing just got cancelled out by a really unfortunately timed gank. They did not know what they were doing there, it was just pure unluck. And... But I'm almost, obviously I could have played better because I had one opportunity to freeze in the level 1. Or level 2. That I just didn't notice in time. If I'd taken that opportunity, the game would have probably looked a lot different. The switch would have been useless. Instead I accidentally just let him get too much XP. And also a little bit unfortunate as well that uh, we have such useless support as Ash in the 1v2 lane. Like, Ash, Ash support is decent, right? It, it's kind of nerfed now, but it's still, like, okay. It's just absolutely useless at punishing this kind of lane. She was doing absolutely nothing in the, 1v, in the 1v2. It was basically like a 1v1 lane. All she was doing was really leeching XP. Base for BF sword now. It, like, it would have been sick if we had a Nautilus, because then he could actually zone Twitch from XP even during the slow push. 
And definitely would, we would have gold potential, which we never had at any point. Like, even if we froze, we wouldn't have gold potential unless Twitch got really greedy. But you should have Twitch, you should have gold potential in, in a 1v2 lane, because that's obviously just the easiest way to punish a 1v2, is just fucking kill the guy that's laning alone, right? There's no way to engage. I feel as to, like, to Mike, uh, to Ash's credit, like, it's not even just about the ass pick. Like, Aphelos is also not amazing at punishing 1v2s. If I was playing, like, Tristana, for example, I could have actually threatened all ins myself. <laughs> nice. Almost got Twitch. Well, if we're not doing much here, I may as well actually just get my guild force. Come on, give me more speed. There we go. Definitely cannot approach the Syndra. What is she doing? Got her. Can't get too close to Syndra, she will one shot me. Oh, got my girlfriend in the wrong slot. I would never be able to use that if I tried to. <laughs> I literally don't have anything bound to that button. I have something bound to every item slot except that one. I use one on drink, one for trinkets. We need to go Runens here just to, so we can maybe stand a chance of melting their entire team with AoE. Wifter is also nice. It's me with the Timo at least, because it sure didn't do damage to Poppy's shield. <laughs> Season Q to get some HP back. Nice. Oh, dude, I didn't notice Twitch. I took it out. It was just focusing me the whole time and I just didn't even notice. <laughs> Not have kill for us to cap close onto any other range champions. Okay, nice. Oh. No way I'm alive. Holy crap, let's go. We hold on. I love to fight another day. I'm gonna run ends now for the wave clear.
Did I risk going for another wave? I think I can risk it. Nice. The wave card is just so faster. Oh god. We're cutting him really hard. Oh god damn it. Come on. There we go. Oop. Should be in trouble now though. Unless Dana can save me. Poppies. I don't have plans. I'm just screwed here now. We can risk it. I, I was thinking. So my logic was they have no reason to be topside. They could. They should only be bot side. Although, I mean, I guess Baron is up, to be fair. Oh, my bad. I did a, to my credit, I did at least raid one for one. The rest of that disaster was not on me. Mm, they just stand. Syndra stands alone, even. Oh, well. I think we did pretty decent... Like, literally the only mistake I made, as far as macro-wise, this game, you know, anything significant at least, was literally just the level 1. Everything else was just pure unfortunate. Like, the second attempt at freezing, nothing I could do about them uh, not working out. GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Aphelios to Diamond. This game, we're going to be playing Aphelios Bard into Janiko. Yeah, last game was pretty unfortunate, but at least it's a good example of a game... Where you kind of feel like you couldn't have really done anything better. Like the whole game pretty much fell out of my hands there. Because we couldn't engage onto Twitch and couldn't really zone him either. But it's a good example of a game where even where it seems so hopeless. You can actually pinpoint that there was one particular moment. Where if you just played it better. And in this case it was the level 1 uh, macro. If I just frozen instead. Then the entire game could have looked so much different. Because we would have zoned Twitch from so much XP. Then he would have been so much weaker. And we would have had so much more threat over him. His daddy hit the level 6 while I was level 4, and it was like GG. We couldn't pressure him anymore, he started getting kills on Ash, which is her fault, not mine, but whatever. <laughs> and then uh, we were basically hoping to just get carried at that point, because we messed up our lane macro. And then, what do you know, our team isn't in a position to carry because they're feeding, so we just lose. But if I just played the level 1 a little bit different, who knows, I think the game would have looked entirely different. Oh. God damn it, I hate Nico. Yeah, we're gonna have to count the minions, and uh, pay attention to if any minions come out of a brush at any point. <sighs> How am I meant to keep track, man? Like, I'm lost hitting. I can't, I can't, like, I can sort of keep track, but I'm, I have to stop paying attention to her at some point, man. Like, exactly. Like, it's so dumb, man. The support can keep track of which minion she is, for sure, but I need to lost hit, bro. <laughs> it's such a dumb mechanic, actually. It's less mind games and more like low counterplay bullshit. She's gonna be on the brush somewhere. I don't think she's any of these minions. <coughs> there she is. By the way, even when we're doing the Emacs, which, by the way, we shouldn't do this game. But even when we are, we still do the W start. It's just too good. In case you haven't watched previous videos where I explain why I do it, I do the W start because at level 1 you have no abilities, so all you can trade with is autos. And so having that lower attack speed on autos helps you transition more smoothly between lost hitting and poking, or just, uh... Being able to get multiple poke tray uh, poke autos off instead of just one. Then once you get abilities, AD starts to be more useful. I want to trade with him every time my fleet is up. Actually, yeah, we're running cleanse. We've run a uh, cleanse times in a row now. It's good for the Nico. Good for the Jin. Are we getting ganked her? Looks like no. Should 
should be able to triple weapon combo now. Question is, who do I want to triple weapon combo? I want to do Jin, because Nico could block it with her W. Ooh, if Bard ignited, that was a kill. Shame. Still, the triple weapon combo, even if it doesn't result in a kill, it pretty much always forces them out of lane. So Jin, choosing not to get forced out of lane here, choosing not to recall, which might not pay off so well for him. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna do WMAX this game since we're facing tanks. Can do with more Kraken Slayer procs. Holy crap. Oh no. Wait, I can use the portal as well. Fuck, too late now, man. You know what? Maybe it's for the best. No, actually, it would have been for the... It was for the worst. But maybe I can still join here. Come on! That's sad. I should have had way more damage on her there. Fine, just need somebody else taking aggro. <laughs> no, I didn't get it, sad. Alright, let's leave that whiff. This will push back towards us, I hope. Oh yeah, there's Talon. Oh my god, he's level 6. Please don't try and dive me blindly. I don't want to cancel my base. Nice. Right, but uh, actually, I think we'll do um, Guild Force first, though. Should be really good against Nico. Survivability so against Talon will be nice, too. Even against Ramus is kind of good. Just for whenever I don't have cleanse up. Yeah, the main reason to run cleanse is honestly just because of the Ramus. It's kind of trolled out to run cleanse against Ramus if you're playing on a mobile ADC. But whenever cleanse is on cooldown, the go force will be really high value. That's that critter. Come on, he just went to the brush so I couldn't auto, and that would have healed me for quite a bit. I did not quite catch which minion she is, she's one of these casters. Yeah, that she's the one that's running towards me, obviously. The only thing is, though, is that if they don't make it obvious, then there's no counterplay to it. I can't try and help. The hell? Good on him. Yeah, I just really hate playing against Nico support because this demands like a hundred percent of your attention at all times. No way. <laughs> what? I should have just thrown my ultimate, I just thought it would be overkill. There we go. Unless we still got it, but... I would save J4 if I just used my blue ult, I think.
Actually, no. Bard. Alright, that's enough damage to the turret. We can leave. Yeah, if you want to, if you're, if um, you're doing Guild Force, you do have the option of run, rushing Guild Force. It's a decent prospect once you finish it. If you're doing Infinity Edge, you don't really have the same choice. Infinity Edge in the early game is just not as good as Kraken Slayer or Storm Razor. Guild Force is fine though. You can either rush Storm Razor or you can rush Guild Force. I don't think it matters too much. Depending on the matchup, it might just be better to rush Guild Force. So to other matchups, it might not matter as much. This is not even, I, I would say, one of the most important ones to rush Guild Force in. It's more for like Misfortune, I guess. Or even the Twitch, uh, even the Twitch would have been good to rush Guild Force against just for safety, or even for aggression. To try and engage with like purple, root, or anything like that. I think one of these is Nico. Mm, maybe not. You kind of have to be careful. So one annoying thing about Nico support as well, or well, Nico in general, is that when minions are coming out of vision, you can't even count them yet. You have to wait and see until they're all in vision to see if there's one more minion in the wave than there should be or not. So it's a really good time for her to cheese is when the minions are approaching. If she turns into the first minion of the wave, it is indistinguishable from an actual minion. Until I see that they're actually three melees, I just have to kind of get zoned by it every time. Thankfully, I mean, this Nico doesn't seem to be aware of that trick. Oh. God damn it, hang on. Damn it. That sucks. I should have just flashed her ultimate. The fact that I got CC'd there was pretty bad. Because I could have otherwise just killed her. Get rid of green here so I can shove with blue. Now I got my cold cashed out. I would just hope nobody's around to freeze. If they are, it's whatever. Nothing I can do about it. Would have been nice to get that plating, actually, but it will. Too late now. And now we head straight into the Kraken Slayer, gonna be very important for this comp, and maybe. Looking at the Lord Dominic's third item, I would imagine. Ooh, nice one. Well, I need it told sooner. Come on. Got her. Oh, I didn't get to root him. Fuck. I could have actually rooted him if I did blue Q into purple Q. Just didn't realize I only had one ammo. Okay, we could try and dive him, I guess, by shoving this in. Yeah, J4 is here. That's perfect. Won't even have to rely on Bard to take aggro then. Nice, huge. Hello. Oh, I missed it. I should have I should have cleansed the ignite actually, but obviously the bigger mistake was just missing ult. 
Okay, close one. Damn, I didn't expect to actually get one shot there. Did he even fully commit out to me? I mean, he must have, I suppose. I mean, he didn't throw a W at me. Yeah. I didn't really expect to die there, honestly, even if I didn't land the ult. That's why I didn't cleanse the ignite. But I should have. This wave is not amazing. At least it's, like, fairly late into the game now, so... I got less screwed over by a bad minion wave state now. Yeah, I fully expected him to actually commit for the kill, because I didn't think he could get it without it, but... Clearly he could. I'm a squishy guy, he's a bursty champ. <coughs> no, there's no way for me. Should've gone mid. At least the mid wave is actually pretty far back, so I'll get there in time. We'll wait for the wave to be lined up before I use the rest of my blue. I think we can get this turret. Okay, we got it. Nice one. Damn it. Just hoping for a kill there. I got cleanse if I need it. We should go for the streak. Just go for the wolves first. I know they placed the ward there. What? I swear I saw it. Weird. Oh, it might have been a gin, gin trap, actually. That would make sense. Oh, I can already base for... What <laughs> the fuck? She can be a blast con? Yeah, I can already base for Kraken Slayer. Might not even have to do a Dominic's third, because both... Well, at least Ramus is really behind. Andoran is not, like, giga tanky right now either, but he probably will get there eventually. I don't really care about blue, actually. I'd rather just get the farm faster. Hello. I'm getting... I mean, I'm pathing screwed there. Oh. oh no, he can jump over the J4 ult. <laughs> Alright, tried to get me and he failed. Mm, he's gonna get away and execute again. I won't bother chasing. Oh, wait. He's getting greedy. What the hell? Whatever. Just push mid and then maybe rotate top. Probably not worth stopping to kill a pink when there's a fight going on. Okay, whatever. <laughs> The one that is rooted is the real one, obviously. Oh no. Fart could have left, he didn't have to stand fight. Okay, Talon is alive. I'll probably get a start first, though. Maybe. And it's gonna cost me some HP, though. Yikes. 
Get me out of here, because I still don't see Talon, so he's probably coming for me. My team seems oblivious to that, though. They could have protected me. Might actually end up dying here. Uh, no, actually, no, he just took forever to leave base for some reason. Fair enough. I think I'll just base for now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have plenty of damage for this Orin. We'll just go Bloodthirster. I don't think it was worth trying to stay for the Bloodthirster though. May as well just spend the gold while I have it. We might get into a fight soon. This could be good. Got him. I'll cleanse it because I don't want to take too much damage here. When his W is down, that's when I fight. Nice. Okay, Talon. He got 16 chakrams, buddy. Not smart. He could have just waited for him to run out, then try that, but he still wouldn't have killed me. I'm too tanky at this point. And he does too little damage. He's 100 CS down on me, by the way. Alright, GG. Alright, gamers, we are back for another game of Aphelos the Diamond. Starting off with an invade of sorts. Well, we're mostly just trying to kill them. We're not really invading. Kill them in the river. She is faster than me. Okay. Not much happened there. But it was exciting while it lasted. Alright, let me update the wind loss, which is what I was about to do. For this video unexpectedly had to start. There we go. I haven't promoted, have I? No. Alright, so this game we're going to be playing Aphelios, Gragas, into Jin Zyra. Going to be running cleanse once again, third game in a row. Going to be necessary against the Zyra, so whenever we get hit by her E, it doesn't just lead to a free ultimate every time. Actually, I should have been using red there, my bad. Just gonna go on Zara there because I can't really reach Jin in time. Ooh. Not a good trade though. You have to go way too deep for that. Would have loved to auto me again, but the minion block forced me to the side there. <laughs> Guess we're getting decent damage out of the cutdown in this lane. That's nice. God damn it! Even I even do cut down damage to Jin even when I'm a level up on him. It's crazy. Okay, not an amazing trade. My bad. Actually, I also probably should have delayed my auto onto Jin for my red there until I actually had fleet, because that would have given me a small free heal. We ideally don't actually want to let him land an auto there. Instead of landing our full Q, we'd rather prioritize just getting one free- just one little tag. And then disengage before it can actually hit us back, because the red Q itself doesn't actually do much damage, it's the auto follow-up that is nice. In that situation, I just used red Q to trade with him while I had my auto on cooldown from last hitting. 
All right, we can set up the uh, triple open combo now. Oh, he's aware of it. But he still gets hit. Nice. I think we'll do Q and the Emax this game. Oh my god, they slow me so hard. Jeez, man. Let's get out of here anyway. At least Jin didn't get anything from that. Actually, that Jin is really low though. Maybe I'll just stay and maybe he'll overextend at some point. Totally shove this wave though with blue. Nice, really fast shove there. I won't bother with the plating though. We will just base. So since we're not maxing Q into W, we don't put a point in W now, we just keep on maxing Q. I think this is also definitely another kind of matchup where Gold Force Rush would be nice. So I'm just going to get started on, on the BF sword while I can afford it. It's a good idea. Because as, as much as I think Berserkers would actually be really nice here, uh, we can build the components for Berserkers at any point. We can't really build components for BF sword. So because I would say they're about to like maybe equally strong, I'd definitely rather just prioritize the BF sword while I can get it. You never know when the next time I'll base with 1300 gold is. I want to disengage from the fourth shot. Could have been a better trade, sadly. Basically trading 1v2 there. Okay, we're getting a Nocturne gank very soon, though. Oh my god, that reached them. Alright, I don't know whether Jin... I mean, Jin should have flash at this point. When Nocturne ults, I want to flash on Jin and Brutem, so I need to keep two purple ammo for that. Or maybe not even have to flash. Yeah, we don't even have to. There we go. Ooh. Okay, nice one. That's really good. That's turned our lane around for sure. Kha'Zix is installed somewhere. Oh, didn't mean to take a third shot. But we get him. Nice one. Um, Yeah, I suppose we can shove this. Ah, I didn't red in time to keep my stacks. Would have made the wave curve slightly faster. Alright, we still clear the wave though. Still quite a ways off from Gulfra, so we'll just go for Berserkers now. Hopefully my base doesn't get cancelled here. But they should be smart and should realize that this is where a greedy player would recall. And so they need to try and punish it in case I'm being greedy, which I am. But they don't punish it. So there's a meme that there's like a bell curve in League of Legends where really bad players will just recall all the way back here because they don't realize that they can just get away with like basing in really 
like really spots because most like bad players won't punish them anyway so they just waste a bunch of time when they could just get a faster recall off there and then good players they do realize that they can actually get a recall off here um so they do it and you know because they know that bad players won't punish it but then the good players on the enemy team will also try and punish the fact that they know that the best recall is like here so they'll try and rush towards wherever they think the enemy is recalling and try and cancel that and then the best players will just revert back to taking the safest possible recall here just like the worst players will because they know that the enemies are going to try and punish a good recall here <laughs> so it all just goes full circle So it's real. So when, when if you're like thinking about what you should do in your own games, that's really like up for you to decide and figure out. It really depends on the average level of your opponents in your games. So I would recommend starting off, get which just, just trying to do the greatest recalls you can think of, and you see if they, if it gets punished or not. Oh my god! I think I'm dead here probably. Yeah, he's still a jump. Fuck my bad. That sucks. Oh no. Ooh. Oh, that blows. At least I got Crick Look. I didn't have a shutdown at least, but I'll do lose a lot of farm for that. I shouldn't have taken that trade. It was basically 1v2 because Gragas was really far back. It was just, yeah, sitting in a brush. Not really doing much. I need to just play around Gragas engages, really. Because Zara can follow up uh, trade with, between me and Jin much more easily than Gragas can, if he's, at least if he's sitting that far back. He shouldn't be, but it is what it is, and I gotta adjust to that. Must have my weapon cycle at some point, I see. Some people are actually really strong advocates for green, blue and FLOs, but I think it, if it's even good, it can only really be good late game when you actually have a ton of crit. The whole point of it is apparently long range AoE, but we don't really do a whole lot of AoE right now. What the fuck? Worth a shot. Kha'Zix might head over to bot side now. Yeah, he's definitely coming for a bot link gank. Place a ward here in case he manages to like jump through the wall there, through the Drake pit. Oh, what are you doing, buddy? I wanted to block, but there was nothing to do there. That was just way overextended. He could have flashed it as well. He's just not playing well. It is what it is, so... We just accept that we're gonna lose lane, but at the same time we also like have a better scaling lane, so it's not really like the the unexpected outcome anyway. Okay. <laughs> nice one. Nice, it's just 1v2. <laughs> All I had to do was farm. It's a little bit risky to try and go for this plating, but... Well, we got Gragas now, it's fine. Sadly, it's not a solo plating anymore. Okay, Azir's headed towards bot side, I think. 
We might have also had Kha'Zix, uh, like around here, maybe also headed towards bot side. As I back off though, maybe not. Okay, there's Kha'Zix. I think we sell this for a quick look. Wait, whoops, I got rid of blue twirly. Again, my bad. Definitely a risk. Oh yeah, I'm dead for this, I think. You can try and survive it, but it's unlikely. There's no way, holy crap, I lived. Nice one. So the way we play that out with the purple ult, by the way, is we land the purple ult, but we don't immediately root, right? Because the purple ult grants like a, what, 99% slow for like a second that decays. So we wait for the slow to run out, and then we root. We don't want to overlap the root with the slow, because then we're just getting less CC overall. Alright, good riddance. <laughs> nice. He's not getting this cannon. Just making sure we stand in front of it. To block his W. I want to make sure I have some vision there in case I want to show this next wave, which I, of course, absolutely do want to do. Slayer in a game like this. I think we'll just do Storm Razor. May as well have uh, just rushed it, I guess, but well, I suppose I might not have survived that gank if I didn't have kill for us. But I don't think the comp is gonna get too tanky. Try and gank these two with Pantheon. Pantheon, I need you, buddy. Doesn't really do enough. Oh, he's ulting? Too late, though. I were too far away, at the very least. Oh, hello. Whoa, what was that burst? Oh, I got hit by Jin as well. He, he must have flashed on me, right? Because I heard a flash. What did Pantheon do? What the hell? You get running forwards and turret though, I guess? What the hell? Then, then let me see. Did I get flashed on by Jin? No, he, he was actually already just in range. <laughs> no, it was just the Azir that flashed. Dude, I was like, what the hell is that Azir ult burst? I could barely see Jin on my screen. <laughs> that is such a, like, un sort of unfortunate timing. No, not really, it doesn't really matter what the timing was, but it just looked like I... I literally had 800 HP that went to zero in the same instant. It's crazy. I was so close to killing Azir there. Yeah, we needed to turn on Azir. We did not have to commit to dying there.
Oh, what the hell? I just wasted my cleanse and my flash, didn't I? Yep. My bad. Fuck. Didn't see him. Because I'm blind. Or did he come out of vision? No, I... Well, I could have flashed it for sure. Oh well. Yeah, I wasted my cleanse completely. I forgot that you can't uh, cleanse flash knockups anymore. You used to be able to do that. Because obviously you can't flash during knockups, but it used to be that you could cleanse, like, not exactly the CC, but at least the, you could cleanse the, like, uh, debuff that the game assigned you invisibly to stop you from using dashes. So you could either, like, cleanse guild force or cleanse, use your champion dash, cleanse flash, just any kind of knockup. Still, a, like, a habit that I sort of still have, even though I swear it's been removed for, like, two years now. I think they were removed in Season 11 with the Mythic Rework. QSS could do the same, too. Did I get hit by something there? Was that just the... Luden splashing on me from the Azir world? Uh, Azir turret, rather. Nobody base for Storm Razor. I'd like to get the red first, though. And actually, there might be a fight. We want to try and join that if there's going to be one. Okay, maybe not. I'll go farm. Oh, I just wasted my root. Oh, my bad. Gragas is not doing too hot. Okay, it's Kha'Zix with W Evolve. So he's got a lot of poke and easy disengage. Nice one. Guild Force onto him. Oh god, he might actually win this though. He did. God damn it, my bad. Whoops. Does he have a lead? He does. Yeah, he already had his Storm Wizard bot and I just had it in my inventory. Or, uh, not in my inventory, it's in my shop. I haven't spent it yet. And he's just sort of had more HP than me. Could have avoided, like, actually, though, if I'd managed to dodge the W, though, then I might have escaped. The awkward thing is, though, I think the trap was kind of forcing me to path in that direction. Because, like, at this point, I can't really path to the right without getting hit by the trap. So I think I was screwed no matter what, just because I got so close to him. If I'd kept more of a distance from him, then I should have been fine. But I can't really say that I usually am afraid of uh, getting close to Jin. It's only because of his exact trap placement that screwed me there. Damn it. Hmm. Well, that was a terrible play. Then has Guild Force and he has Storm Razor. It's very hard to catch him out there. Anyway, what are we building next? I think we can do... Bloodthirster. Let's make sure we actually get the the correct weapon cycle this time. Oh, I'm not a position for this. Okay, we got that kill though. I can't fight that. I gotta leave. Hmm. 
Nice one. Definitely can't do anything to this Azir, except maybe. Ah, uh, if I just done it, uh, if I thought of it sooner, I could have actually cancelled his base from a safe distance by angling my blue properly. Yeah, I gotta say, a big reason for me building Gilfoss in this matchup was, uh, like, you know, rushing it for the lane phase was actually just so I could follow Greg's engages. I don't think he engaged a single time. <laughs> Doesn't matter, though, because I built it quite late anyway, to be fair. And it did save me from a gank, so... Can't be too mad. Oh, well, that Kha'Zix is going full bruiser, already getting armor. I don't think it's worth going, uh... Where Dominic's yet, though, but we're gonna have to do that at some point, probably. For now, we'll just accept doing less damage to him. I think this item is also kind of a soft counter to white, isn't it? I assume it works similarly to Ash Q and Zeri Q. Get this Yoni away from me. <laughs> Damn, it would have been fine if he just kept running. Alright, so maybe not because he does have Death Stance, I guess. Okay, they're probably going to do Baron now. I'll just farm mid while I can. Can't really go for that turret. I'll just go for the red buff and the raptors. There's a monster though. She might actually one be nine. And I'm it, even though I'm only two four and four, it cannot be understated that I'm actually just still a huge threat though. I actually do a lot of damage. I got a really good farm. With uh six scope participation as well. Like I'm probably more of a uh, more of a threat in fights than Jin, so long as I can actually get to auto attack stuff. The problem is we haven't really team fought, so I don't actually get to hit anything. So it looks like he has more influence over the game. That wouldn't be the case if we were fighting an even fight. I believe the cannon actually. Oh, but I get it anyway. That only hit him once. That's mad. No! Metal cuts. Oh, this hopefully kills him. Oh, that's so sad. What? I'm screwed now. That blows, dude. What? It's from my auto cancelled. Like, uh, right? I swear. I was about to throw an auto at him. Uh, I don't know, maybe I just didn't have the range when I thought I did. Fuck that blows. Did we at least get the Drake? Oh, they did. Oh, they stole it. Fuck. Damn, that sucks. They're a soul point now. That could be pretty bad. At least we got Bloodthirster now. Nice. But uh, yeah, I think that's twice now where we could have turned on Azir when he's TPing in, but <laughs> people just ignore him. So that kind of zones me. All I did that fight was just land two auto attacks on Azir. Thanks to my white weapon. White Q. Place a blue trinket here now, hopefully when he's not paying attention, so he doesn't see it and doesn't clear it. But I think he might have noticed it by then. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. He didn't even notice. But at least now we know he didn't just leave. At some point, we're going to have to use a blue trinket there just to make sure that he was actually gone. And we know he's not, so we need to be careful. Oh, my bad. Well, there's no Baron to defend, so no harm in me being bought. Come on! There we go. 
But yeah, I think I definitely made the right call to not buying Kraken start of this game, because you've seen how little of actually auto attack champions it would have been beyond worthless. The utility from Stormwizard is definitely massively outvaluing it right now. With this Kha'Zix build though, uh, in team fights for sure, we do better with Kraken Slayer against them, I think, but so far it hasn't come into effect at all anyway. So it would have been a waste of a purchase for now, as of yet. I don't know if I can safely keep on pushing here. We'll just leave. I know there's one person unaccounted for. I think I'll take red and raptors and leave. Recall. Actually, we could do Renan's over. Ooh, nice. Over the last whisper, and I think that's better. Got him. I think this Jin was uh, an absolute pussy there. I don't know why he didn't just try and kill me. Right, I'm fine now. <laughs> I completely butchered that as well. I should have blue ulted, but I ran out of blue. He's gonna get the first hit on me if he turns on me here. Ugh. Don't even get to touch him. We can heal a lot with blue Q here. Boom. So I'm gonna get really skilled up though. Got level 15, got the Bloodthirster scaling up. Gonna get Rune and soon. Soonish. It's a little bit risky to go for Scuttle, but it's probably more risky to go for mid farm at the moment. Oh, hello. Got it. I swear to god, if he zones me from it, I'm gonna be so sad. I can't risk it. He could be walking down here already. Okay, nice. I just gained over 100 free gold with that scuttle. Ooh, hello. This could be good. Nice. Oh. Damn it. Jumped away from me. He doesn't have self now. Come on. Nice one. Oh, I'm stuck here. Okay. We're about to get Drake Ness. We're going to deny from them. I mean, hopefully we get it. We don't have a jungler either. I mean, well, we don't have a jungler and they do, but hopefully... He's not in a position to steal? I don't know where he is, though. Oh, not there. Oh, he has that up again. Oh, come on. Okay, just walk away. We need to actually make sure he doesn't steal this, though. Did I not hit the second one? Oh, I did. Okay, I was just delayed. Nice. We can very conveniently just throw that through the wall. Now we should hopefully be able to get Baron too. That would be sick. Don't bother with YQs though. Don't add as much DPS as just having white autos longer. Oop. Flash that just to be safe. Okay. I feel like I'm just gonna escape the ultimate range just in case people don't block for me. This is not enough smite, he does. We can finish it, we can finish it. Nice, huge. I actually lost it, that was a pro smite. <laughs> but it worked out. Paid off. Worked out for the best. And now I'm level 17. Got a massive blood thirst now. 90 from it. What the? You couldn't possibly have vision there, right? Please don't cast on my base. Please don't cast on my base. Nice. Now we get Lust Whisper.
nearly level 18, which will be a nice bar spike. How much AD will I gain from that? I'm 449. I gained 10 AD, that's crazy. Like that, when you have Bloodthirster, each level up is just such a massive power spike. Because you're gaining base AD both from the level up and then also from the Bloodthirster level up. Fucking hell. You should not have felt so confident to do something there, but Greg is just standing still. At least I can lifesteal. We need to do something with our Baron, man. We've done nothing. It's gonna be too late. There's nothing for me to do except just pressure mid, but somebody should have been pushing bot or top, something like that. Fucking hell, I nearly died there. That was a stupid attempt. This time it actually got punished to like the Jin from earlier walking up to me when I had purple. That like that was the really dumb thing about Jin walking up to me is I had purple, so he knew he was gonna get rid of it if he tried to do that. But there was nobody for me to actually root him for. Nice. I'm trapped. <laughs> Barely even needed to purple, but whatever. Nice one. Hold you a massive. And at this point, I think Kraken Slayer would have actually been outskilled by the Stormers or anyway, by the way. Because the damage would start being like less and less relevant the more uh, stats you gain. That isn't, you know, the more damage you start to deal without any item passives. And at this point, the Stormers are mobility is just much more influential, I think. GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Hellas to Diamond. This game we're going to be playing. I follow Soraka into Draven Alistar. Not an amazing matchup, but definitely one that we should have skill. So, our, full, our sole objective in this game will just be to farm up. Try and avoid dying. The most important thing is to avoid dying if you have a single death. That's a big mistake. And then the other thing we can do is just try and punish any, like, like huge misplays they make. Especially, like, trying to force two aggressive plays, potentially. But for the most part, we play this defensively. Punishing mistakes is just a big if, if they make them. So we just let this push into us, that's fine. We don't want to contest the wave stay, we can poke them a little bit. Oh, not so much anymore. <coughs> but we don't want to contest the actual wave stay, we want it to push towards us, because the closer we are to our turret, the less useful Alistar is. Alistar should also be positioning further up so that I actually can't last hit casters. Just barely got that nice. I was actually just thinking to myself, I probably should have saved um, my green Q for the actual cannon. That was super lucky.
So I have about 170 HP less than either one of these guys, so I'm getting a decent amount of damage out of cutdown, though it's not too important. Oh, come on. <sighs> that minion block. Should have just switched to green. That's why sometimes it's just default to using green to farm, even though you want to get rid of red first. It's just because in case there's unexpected minion blocks or like weird pot things, you have an easier time loss hitting with more range than less range. So now the wave is pushing towards them, which is less ideal than just having it that our turret. Because even even facing a big wave, they probably would win a fight. We'll do the Q max into the W max, I think. It should probably be even better this patch because the fact that you start maxing W instead of Q early and Q got nerfed this patch. So, if there, you know, any skilling order that doesn't prioritize fully maxing Q is probably just slightly better now than it was in previous patches, even though the nerf wasn't that big. But still, the nerf will be even smaller if you're just not even full maxing Q until much later on. Yeah, but see, I don't think I've used a key, red key on a, on a champion a single time yet. This is just what we do in this matchup. Just play fully safe. If they were ever to try and uh, engage on Soraka, then I could do something. But otherwise, we just keep our distance. Got a triple weapon combo available to me now, and I still don't even want to walk up to them for that. Because I will get punished. Now closer to our throw, we could try and go for one, but their mini cover will probably mean they don't get hit by the green Q. Oh, or I just get traded onto Driven, so it's barely even worth it. Although I did get healed by Soraka, so it's fine. Nice. Oh, did I put one too many points into Q? I did. Whoops. No biggie. We'll still get it. Get W max by level ten. I can't really freeze this. I think we need to try and crash this. I'm fairly confident they've actually based. Nice one, we just missed one farm there. So worth it for the crash. Hmm. I think we'll do Storm Razor. But I think we'll want Gil for a second item for sure. The only reason I won't bother rushing uh, Gil for us here is just because it's kind of hard to use it to escape an Alistar WQ combo anyway. Oh no, he missed the Q. He would have burst you maybe if he actually landed that. It's a really boring matchup, as you can see. It's just been so much AFK farming. That is what it is. I'll take a boring matchup over a loss. Their focus, by the way, should be on freezing. It's like in the Twitch game, we're not exactly 1v2 lane, but we are just like so 
so much weaker on the 2v2 that they could easily be zoning us from farm. The way they keep pushing these weapons into turret is not good. They might get some platings, but they're also just handing the fellows free farm, and they're gonna they're getting just slowly outskilled, both of them. Both of them get outskilled by both of us. <coughs> Damn it. Come on. There we go. And they just have a pink anyway. Where are they? I and mean, they're probably not up there, but they might be in that brush. No, oh, they actually just based. Okay. Still risky to ooh, Sorkum might be caught here. Okay. Not too bad then. Let's just try it, I think. Oh. Nah, I gotta run. I'm already dead actually. <laughs> Fuck. Nah, I should have just kept AFK farming. I got too cocky. Cause Alistair already missed his combo, so I mean wasn't really much of a to be one though, because Soraka wasn't really in the fight either. She didn't even heal me. She did ult the least. Alright, my bad. No, see, so I thought maybe with white, especially with the white ult, I might actually stand a chance of beating Draven, but not even close. Especially because I didn't even realize he had exhaust, but... Yeah, Soraka heal, I think, might have saved me. Nah, probably not, because I couldn't really avoid the Draven ult. If I path upwards here, then I'm just going to get hit by Alistar. Uh... Yeah, not much to do there. I mean, we got a big cash out there, I assume. Oh no, Swarka. It might still be a bad idea to fight him anyway. Yeah, he's got the double axe. Goddamn it, and he's got lethal tempo stacked. Damn it, if he just dropped the axes, I'm so sad I managed to give him a reset because he has no mana, so he wouldn't be able to get more axes. He shouldn't have axes now, though. He's got one axe, which might be enough. Soraka needs to stop playing like a pussy because we actually win this one. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. That's so sad. Just... Was afraid of getting engaged on, even though they have to focus me. Damn it. She also can't really crash this, I don't think. So she's just causing me even more farm. <laughs> that blows. Like, fair enough that she doesn't immediately follow up, but then she's completely out of position. But she, she used the silence slate as well, otherwise he wouldn't have flushed away. So sad. It was in, like she would, not only did she follow up late, but even when she did follow up, she didn't immediately E, which would have trapped them there with me and I would have got the kill. A little bit risky, but I want the plating. Hmm. Maybe should have been part of that actually, my bad. So only got one axe for now, I could try and fight him now. I don't think I win this, but let's try it. Okay, I just barely got him. Oh, I should only use my weapons in the wrong order, that's fine. Well, good thing I took the risk then, eh? That should help a lot. Fuck, I'm getting ganked. We're getting TP down as well. What the hell? Oh, god damn it. I think I'm fine at least. Well, I'm screwed. Damn it. Why did I not root Malphite there? Or was he just already out of turret range? I was trying to root Malphite. Uh... Yeah, he didn't get rooted. Oh, wait, but I couldn't. No, I tried to use Q, but I couldn't for some reason. Maybe I was CC'd when I tried to root. No, I don't know why it didn't work then, because I definitely pressed Q when I wanted Malphite to stand her turret, and he just 
left. Because it didn't cast Q. Red. It's like Rock has silenced me. Oh well. to base for. Oh, come on. I don't want to do the Gromp if I'm just going to lose a bunch of HP to Karth Assault now anyway. <laughs> uh, okay, we can actually push bots in Strave in his mid. Hello. Ow. We can try and engage on him. Okay, nice. Huge. With the Ghost, we can just really easily dodge Karthus Q's. He should not have been so comfortably trying to 1v2 there. Uh, we need to get rid of green first, actually. I'm falling here. Okay, I think... I th yeah, I'm definitely safe to keep on pushing now that I see you. I guess it's worth taking this turret for the kill. So we don't need a second wave, so it means I don't have to be overextended for quite as long. Ooh, actually, Kraken Slayer would have been good in this matchup as well. I was, I was actually thinking of, I was gonna do Kraken Slayer at one point, but then I completely forgot about it. Whoops. We can do it like fourth item, I guess, fifth item. Need to do loss, probably, um, what's it called? Lord Dominic's first. Mm, that wave's gonna be dead before I get there anyway. Jeff can go deal with Karthus now. I'll just go do, I guess, Raptors though, because I don't really have mid prowl. Yeah, finding it. I'm just also getting rough this. <laughs> he has literally every camp up and he's crying because one goes down. We're in the mid game, so it's not like he wants to full clear on repeat either. He might only have time to clear one side of the map. We can't really defend that. Busy killing my jungler, so I can crawl my free whip here. Can't really do much else. But yeah, like for example, this Viego skipped the golems. He clearly, you know, wasn't willing to farm every camp, so why is he crying about one going missing? Okay, we should have W maxed now. Yep. Okay, I need to go bot in a sec. Nice, he left. Oh no, he didn't cut salt to kill them? No, not cut salt. Don't know what killed him then. So that didn't get hit by Karth Assault. Uh, Driven is going top. Nobody has TP and nobody's near enough to defend. 
thought there was going to be a fight there. But there was, I just didn't reach it in time. He has so much armor even without his W passive up. It's a little bit risky. He's so tanky, which gives his team a lot of time to come and follow up. Okay, we managed to do a lot of free damage though. Without getting punished for it. I think I don't mind getting Muffet ulted in this position potentially. Because I don't think his team would actually be in position to follow up. Okay. Not bad. You can do with basing for girl for us now. Uh, no, I think there's about to be a fight, maybe. No, apparently not. <laughs> Cancel my base for nothing then. I need to stay in the mid, I think. Oh, and they do Baron if we commit too many people to bot side too. They're already trying to do it. He stole it. Oh my god, let's get out of here. Holy shit. I'm gonna pop ghost. Okay, just barely got him. <laughs> Didn't even get the system off, but really nice. Really fucking nice. Alive. Karthus and Alistar together, this shouldn't be too strong. Maybe we actually get a Sinheb? I think we do. What a huge turnaround. I thought this game was doomed. We not only steal the Baron, we also even win the fight. The Yi just definitely way over chased, that was the issue for them. As soon as I got my root, he was gonna be screwed. We'll get rid of green early here just so we can get blue, so we can farm these raptors. Ooh, okay, I close one. I almost didn't get that. Help him do this real fast. Just wanna make sure we get the scuttle. Now I need the base, make sure I have items for the streak fight. Don't have time to sell the coal for a quick cloak because I still need to wait 20 gold. We're gonna have to ignore the midwave, I think. Nice, he healed up from that. Switch to red to heal up from this. Oh, that sucks. Well, we're down numbers now, and I don't, I don't think he even ulted. Did he? Actually, he must have. Oh, wow, I just got one shot. Well, that blows. That really blows. My bad, I could have gill forced the... Muff at all. I didn't think it would hit me, though, honestly. Some... Very close to the border. I suppose I should have instant guild forced. Oh well. 
But yeah, they're right. That is really awkward for us that we have no way of forcing a fight. But I mean, obviously, we could at least like start the Drake and just like force Moffat to engage, I guess. But by the time he engaged, we were already 5v4 because TF just died for no reason. Maybe we just need a relative split push, though. Can get one more whiff here, I think. Just the word there for some long term vision. I mean, I'm not expecting anybody to walk through it immediately. Them, but uh, no, I can't anymore. Fuck, yeah, vision that blows. <laughs> Damn it, was it driven that gave him vision or did they have a ward there? Because I might have been able to just one shot him. God, he healed a lot. Just I guess that was a scuttle there. <laughs> yeah, it was driven that gave him vision. Sucks. Oh well. How did the fight happen anyway? I was farming mid and then I guess Soraka face checked into Yi. I did not really have much time to follow up there. Could have tried to walk into Yi, but like, y you can see it would have turned bad because he was about to get the heal anyway. There's just, um, just nothing for me to do there. Oh, let's uh, sell this for, for Dominic's at least. This Vega's gonna die for this, I think. No, actually, he's fine. They're, this Yi is gonna try and just solo Baron on spawn, though. There's not much I can do about it. I wish I could do about anything, man. I'm fucking a Phileos. <laughs> it is what it is. Mm, no. That's not worth. Hopefully, he's fine. Okay. Of course, he cancels his base just to steal Raptors from me. I'll just switch to focusing the melees, I don't care too much. Not the melees, the uh, small Raptors. Next item should be Kraken Slayer, so I can hopefully have enough damage to come off at and Alistar. I go for RTF. Oh, they're gonna get Infernal Soul. There's literally nothing to do about that. Except if TF like makes a no, we don't have TF. We don't even have we don't even mana on TF. Okay, now he has mana. <laughs> yeah, no, okay, we just give that, give it, give it, give it. You're not gonna get another miracle steal. As much as it sucks, as much as this game is probably unwinnable if they get it, there's not much point to just giving free kills along with the Drake. 
because we're not contesting it. Oh, TF died as well. I suppose we could get caught this. Oh, of course he doesn't just even bother trying to run, so he doesn't walk to me. Feels bad, man. Oh no. That's sad. Hello. No, okay, man, I d it worked, but I got one shot before I could root him. That's so sad. But I was hoping to do exactly that. I wanted to play skill force him onto the fountain. <laughs> I mean, I got rid of him, but it's, it's, I was the last person alive, so I don't know if Diego can defend here. I mean, is Jervin gonna let him? What's happening here? Ooh, that's Salastar dead, I think. Never mind. Close one, though. Oh, no. Oof, okay. He does need to kill all stuff first. Can he salt onto him? Oh no, that healing, what? That's crazy. That sucks. Where did he get that healing from? He, they don't have heal. Was that just minions dying? Nice. Bro. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, nice. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Soon got Kraken Slayer. Fuck, should have checked if they were in that brush. Who was that? Even Karthus? Okay, he's not here. Alright, I'm out of here. No, I think we need Renance as well. Just full DPS build. Deal with how tanky the Malphite and Alistar are. I mean, Alistar is not that much of an issue, but Malphite is. the base they're gonna try and ignore us and kill the nexus maybe or just try and run us down and kill the nexus either way we need to be grouped and we don't need to be trying to only one yeet oh, i still get hit by this so lame man i'm dead now i got perma slowed bro what that's so crazy gg <laughs> Alright gamers, we are back for another game of A Fellows to Diamond. This game we are going to be playing a Falio Sash into Draven Karma. It's going to be a Malphite jungle and a Sound jungle, and neither of these guys belong in the jungle, so I don't know what they're doing there. But at least our troll jungler is counteracted by an enemy troll jungler. I actually couldn't tell you which one is more viable. I just never see either one of them in the jungle. Ah, so close. We got 32 healing from fleet, which is pretty nice. Forty-eight. That is a lot of healing to have this early on, man. God damn. She's probably got another RQ by now, I imagine. Can't get 
get that one either. Can't get that one. Missed that one. Nice. I missed like six yes there. Holy crap. That blows. Most of that was not lost hitable, only the last two and those two I messed up. What is he doing? He's just hitting minions. Not even hitting me or Ash. Okay, nice. First blood to me. That's nice. Wait, I did not want to do that. Fuck, I should not have hit that, my bad. Crash it, though. Hopefully that's good enough. No, she's not going to try and freeze him, though she should. Would have cost her nothing to try and freeze there. We have no kill potential, no kill potential at all on her. Do double longsword and a potion. <coughs> well, it actually did kind of freeze, which isn't ideal, but it will fix itself pretty soon. It's too close to the turret to not to. Even if some of these melees didn't run into the turret, the <laughs> yeah, it's, it's already fixed anyway, pretty much. But it would have been fixed otherwise as well, just by their wave coming much sooner than our wave, I imagine. Sorry, it's not an exact science. I mean, it probably is an exact science. Well, more or less. But it's kind of hard to predict. But being that close to the turret where the melees are going to go into turret, yeah, that is an exact sense. They always will die there. Hello. Wait, what? Wait, I... Oh, I didn't manage to attack him. Uh, Ash is dead for no reason. That's lovely. Hmm. That sucks. No reason to die there. I think she knows it. Nice. It's a shame. Like, dude, if I'd conquer, I could be getting so many more kills today, but... With those triple weapon combos, because you do so much more damage when you have conquer. The fleet is overall probably better. Shouldn't have hit that, actually. Damn it. Okay, we can start pushing in this next wave, and then we can base for Noon Quiver. For a second there, I was worried that was her using her W and would have cost me the cannon. <laughs> Alright, this one is not even temporarily frozen. Nice one. Did I sell this for boots? Yeah, pretty much. I think that's worth it. Okay, so we'll want to hold on to the last two purple ammo. So when you have... Uh, sub three purple ammo, basically there's two ways you can get a root. Either you have two ammo, in which case you can auto Q with purple. Or if you have one, you can't actually tag them with a purple auto because that purple auto will just run down purple and switch to another weapon so if you have one ammo the only thing you can do is use blue q to tag them with purple that way once then switch to purple then q that way can be useful to know all right we're doing w max this game gonna be probably rushing kraken slayer since i imagine that sound seems to be building tanky Alright, we're just gonna get rid of purple fast. Overall, we just gotta play safe. It's not quite as um, 
scarier matchup as the one where we were, where we were facing Draven Alistar. But, you know, still Draven against the Felios has a much stronger early game than me. Still need to put a lot of respect, and Ash is also probably going to scale better than Karma, I would imagine. Oh my lord, he almost killed her. I can go in here actually, what am I doing? For a second there I was worried I was about to miss. Nope! Auto cancelled. Okay, nice. Ooh, with that slow I can't actually catch her unless... No. Oh no. Managed to reset it for now. I'm so screwed. <laughs> nice try, Ash. Does she need to get out of here? Oh no. She's dead. Oh well. At least we managed to actually turn that around. Once I had uh, I noticed that Driven was out of mana and we have a bunch of checkings already and we had level 6 to get even more. It was an easy win there. I probably should have just uh, run away from Karma though, to be fair. She was only really going to die there if, uh, if she, like, let me kill her, which is obviously not going to happen usually. The only, thing, the only thing that could happen, or the most likely thing that would happen is either I waste my time, or I run into Sun and die, which is what happened. Whoops. Yeah, I mean, a Felios with a certain amount of Chakrams, it can basically be considered as a Felios with Draven Axes. Pretty terrifying prospect, right? Well, I don't know how many Chakrams it takes to basically act as a Draven Axe. That's not in, in the brush, what the fuck? But at a certain point, so yeah, you're pretty much playing a Felos with faster hitting Draven Axes. So at that point, Draven is the one who has to disengage. If I've already managed to stack up those Trekrams, and he hasn't been damaging me in the meantime, which is pretty much what happened there. I was full HP, I hadn't been taking damage from Draven. I just found myself with a bunch of Trekrams and the HP to fight with them. Ideally, Draven should be chunking me out while I'm still using the red Q, because during the red Q, I'm not dealing almost any damage. I'm just setting up the Trekrams for later. <coughs> Ooh. Got him. Karma? That is so not worth. Ash, you can try and not kill Steel if, uh, if you could uh, be so kind. I'm actually dead here, sadly. <laughs> yeah, nothing I could do sur to survive that. That was extremely overkill for him to even flash, actually. <laughs> nice. Well, blows I don't get the wave again. For a second time after solo killing Draven, but it is what it is. The fact that I keep solo killing him in a bad matchup is just really nice, though. Yeah, I was not expecting this to result in a kill. I just, I just figured, you know what? If I drop my uh, red Q, then I can just drop the white turret, and we'll just see what poke I can do with that. And they just didn't walk away from the turret, and then Ash managed to get the ult engage. That uh, was really not supposed to play out that way. Hello. Get him. Triple weapon combo? Nah, I didn't get him. Fuck. Come on. There we go. God, he's probably gonna escape here, I imagine. I lost vision. Oh. That's Annie behind us. That's our Annie. Ow. <laughs> Dude, that is ridiculous, actually. God damn. I can't really do anything here. <laughs> no. Yeah, as if I was gonna follow that up, buddy. Well, I had all time. Maybe could have taken out Draven. <clears throat> yeah, the sun is tanky. Definitely gonna not regret running. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Easiest triple, he says. Maybe a Kalon Draven, maybe. How on earth would that be a triple? But it's so funny he thinks that. <laughs> Bro thinks I'm late game of Phaleos with Runans. Like, what? How am I gonna triple them there? What was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm definitely not, not gonna regret rushing Kraken Slayer against this. Town, I don't think. This will be good. Ah, she has an ult though. Ow, fucking hell. Didn't see her costing it. Nice one. Let's go. Oh, I got rid of those in an entirely bad order, but whatever. It's worth it for the kill. Come on, Ash. I was clearly doing that. Oh, well. What do I get rid of now? Blue. Not again. Get out of here, man. As long as Karma here, I definitely can't even try and pressure him. It's too risky. <coughs> I get hit by one E and then I'm dead to his Q. I could shove one more wave though. But there's not much for Moffat to do here. I just literally just want to farm a wave. Alright, what are we going for next? I think we could get away with doing Infinity Edge this game. I think it's the only game so far that we've had a chance to test Infinity Edge. Hopefully Max W already. We can do two autos on the wave and then blue Q if we want to maximize our wave clear here. Based off of our red ammo, or sorry, blue ammo. Nice. Oh, there he is. I was wondering where, where he went. Oh, that's CC chain though. Nice one. Hopefully we can get the sun. It's gonna flash through. Ow. Cool. God, that took me so far away from Baltan though. I can get this turret though. Driven will also get his turret. It's not first turret either way, so we're not in a huge race here. But if it were a race, though, let it be known I just beat him. Not that it was a race, but you know, if it was, like I did win. It's not important, but you know, if imagine if it was important. Imagine if it was a competition, even though it's not. But if it were, I just beat him. the hell? God, I'm really close to Infinity Edge already, actually. That's put me really close to finishing a really early Totem Power Spike. Oh, this is not the weapon combination I was expecting. Um, I think Red of Purple just stays up. Oh. Can't risk too much there. If I'd known Ash was gonna ult, I would have followed it up with a green ult as well. <coughs> well, we just straight up don't even have to sell the cold, we just got Infinity Edge. Uh, that came out of nowhere. Oh, Malphite, what were you gonna do there? <laughs> At least the first flash. Alright, what do we want? Bloodthirster? 
or Runans. I think we'll do Runans because we're getting our third item so early. But there still won't have too much time to scale yet. It's efficient if we want lifestyle, but I'm not that bothered about it. Whereas DPS should be really nice because they have kind of like at least two tanky champions. <coughs> She can have that. Oh, she was saying the same thing. Oh, she's actually gonna go ball, which is good for me, I guess. Nice. In that case, I might as well have had the cannon. No oh, well. Nice one, Gwen. Oh, no way. Oh, so close. Where's he ulting from? Oh god, he's actually ulting me. He must have had vision. Oh no, he's just going straight bot. That's not Draven. I also missed the brush again. Oh god damn it. There's a fizz flanking me. Okay, nice. Technically fizz is ult. Okay, what am I getting rid of here? Uh, green. Okay. If I can get this cannon, that would be very nice. I think I'm getting it. Nice. Wait, yeah, how much damage does my Kraken Slayer done now? Wait, actually, I might want to do Lord Dominic's instead of Renance. It's done a decent amount of damage already. Mm. Nah, I won't bother with Lord Dominic's yet. Might have to do it fourth at him though. Oh, he's leaving that for me. Is he? I mean, I'd rather just go for this farm, honestly. I can take the buff later. If Ash doesn't take it. Hello, what the hell? Oh. I can't really approach Mordecai's here, can I? Got him. Damn it, I don't have vision. Fuck, this is awkward. I lost my ghost movement speed as well. Fuck, that sucks. Could I have played that any better, really? I mean, I guess I should have walked into the brush and walked backwards is the only thing. Besides that, not much to do. So once, I, once I'm in the brush, it's a mistake to auto him. Because that gave him vision of me. What I should have done is just run straight into it. Then he's expecting me to run straight to the back. So he's expecting to run straight to the back. I'm going to just sprint out of the brush. And temporarily gain like a little bit of... Put some distance between us. Even though it's not going to be that much. But at least it might buy me enough time to run. But yeah, I mean, Morikaz's ult is solo kind of player. Ever since Rallys became made on him. It's not much you can do besides buy QSS and get rid of it. Unless you got, unless you're playing in ADC with perma dashes, there's just not much to do there. You can miss everything and still kill you. Drake is spawning, so I won't go for wolves. Okay, cool. That was a boss kill. Now they got no jungler. Some blocks. Uh, Siren Cross is just blocking me from walking there. <clears throat> oh, that would have been such a sick double if any didn't kill Fizz. <laughs> Actually, waste of a red Q, considering. Heard his daddy the way. Heard it's not because even once this turret dies, we just turn on to the inhib instead. Actually, I'll hit Sun to preserve my stacks. Oh god. Get even more stacks with another red Q. And he's dead. Not even close. 
Just for fun? Oh no, I was gonna say I'll get another. Do another red key for more chakrams, but didn't get a chance. Was not off cooldown yet. Oh my, this Kraken Slayer has done a ton of damage. God damn. That has paid off hard. Absolutely a wonderful first item on this patch if you actually need it for anti tanks. Hello. I should have flashed that. Fuck, I'm dead. Hold that. Michael Fist, though, actually. Oh, wow. No. We almost got him. I mean, at least I live. Can't complain. Oh. Whoa, fuck, my bad. Did he actually- he one shot my turret as well. I didn't even get to auto anybody with that. That- Ult just pushed me back into it again. What the hell? I dodged- or I got hit by the first one, then tried to dodge the second one and got pushed back in. That's crazy. Oh no, actually, I don't think I got hit by the second one. He just flashed on me. Either way, it blows. <clears throat> did I have a big shot down? Oh, damn it, dead. Not good. He is weirdly close to me in items, actually. I get. I mean, I guess it makes sense for Draven, to be fair. But you would think with double the kills. Uh, I don't think I even still need to go... Lord Dominic's, actually. I can just go Bloodthirster. Or some lifesteal. Bro, this minion. <laughs> Wait, we never ended up getting the Drake. Wait, holy crap. Why did we not? That's weird. Can't remember what happened. I remember went for one mid lane wave. Was that when the fight started again? I don't know. Might have been when Fizz engaged on me. Fuck. Come on, target anybody. Oh, I could have had a triple weapon combo there. Oh no, I'm dead here. I thought he'd keep going for Ash. Oh, I tried. I got my fleet healing there, but it wasn't enough. Nice. At least they had to really commit to kill me there. I wasn't really in a, a, that terrible of a spot. Meanwhile, what the fuck is this Gwen's farm? Jesus, no wonder she's so much of a threat. <laughs> Damn. Might have been fine if not for Fizz. Oh man, these two are low. But Ash should not have left. Because now it means Annie takes more damage as well. And now Annie's gonna die. It's basically Malphite soloing Baron. <laughs> you need a- like if one person is low, you basically need three people on Baron. Otherwise the second one who's low just takes too much damage. Oh no, you're kidding. Oh, that was meant to be an AoE ult. I lost vision of her, otherwise I'd have killed her, man. God damn it. Oh, that sucks. I had enough range from green to auto her from the brush and she was snared so she couldn't move and then I just lost vision. Well, that really sucks. It's definitely a very risky positioning on me, but I figured it would be worth it for the Baron. <laughs> Damn. 
no. How lucky are they gonna keep getting, man? That's right. What was that even gonna hit? Hello. I'm probably dead again. Maybe not. Jesus, what are the odds of that, bro? Why is she there? <laughs> Good thing I've decided not to flash anyway. It's not an important Drake, but it would be nice to get it. Oh, I'm very alone here all of a sudden. I need to flash that. No, that was meant to be a blue ult. My, I failed to click W there. Oh god, I'm so screwed now. Eventually. Maybe not. Well, that sucks. How do they engage there? Oh, Moff, I just got... <laughs> sound cute. Yeah, we need Gwen here. Let's go to purple, make sure we get the right order. Hello, Fizz. And try and gank the sun. Wow, I thought it would just ult away. Never mind then. I could try and cheese that inhib, but I, I'm not terribly confident of that working out. Uh, dude, I shouldn't have been seen. I was thinking of maybe just cheesing whoever comes to deal with Gwen. Uh, we should probably just try and make the best out of this situation with Sun being dead. We can maybe just force a fight. Nice. That's actually had vision there. Oh, that blows. Well, now it's, uh, now we need to run. We no longer have the numbers advantage because as soon as that sun will spawn an ult then. I'll just push another wave, there should be no disadvantage to it, but they need to not fight. We can try and distract them top. Actually, fuck, sun will just come. If he's smart, he'll just try and chase me down and... Okay, hopefully my team can deal with whatever's going on over there. We mostly just want to kite and wait until I've got enough chakrams. We're getting red up again. Here we go, Malphite here somehow. Okay, now we got enough. The fucking Fizz is here too now. Fuck! I would have destroyed San and then Fizz if they just came separately, man. Damn it. That blows. Huh, a lot of that was just... From his items. This is not thrown mill though. You see what we were going for there, though, right? Getting two Q rotations off to get two as uh, different set of chakrams while maintaining while occasionally auto attacking sound to maintain the first set so we can combine the two. So eventually when we fully turn on to commit to him, we have two rotations of Q worth of chakrams and then also the ultimate chakrams unfortunately i didn't bank on fizz showing up <clears throat> oh 
I mean, you certainly can't say that I kill sound too slowly. That was like I was literally slaughtering him there as soon as I turned. Granted, that was that was with a ridiculous amount of charcoals, but still. <laughs> Yeah, I've got Lost Whisper now. That should help a little bit. I can base. Trank you over this wall. Ooh, she's just one shot. Yeah, I think we mostly made the right call going Infinite Edge here. I don't think there's been too much use for Gale Force, and we've been able to, well, in a, in a, in a fight, any fight that would have remotely a chance of actually being winnable, we get to auto attack a lot. It's the fact we mostly don't get to auto attack just because. We lose fights before they even begin because of people getting caught. Holy crap, this wave is tanky, man. What? How is the turret dead? That's bizarre. Damn, wasn't enough to kill. Damn it. I'm very dead. I uh, probably should just try to cut downwards. It would have been fine if I was only 1v1ing the sound, but with Fizz flashing onto me, I just got screwed because of the direction I chose to run in. <laughs> what? She wasted her Q there. But she's very unlikely to be able to kill Fizz anyway, to be fair. And he has ult. I don't know why German is doing soul instead of just trying to end the game. But then it looked maybe I revive in time. Mm. Oh my lord, there it is. Uh, she's dead. My time to shine. What? What? Wait, I didn't even see Draven coming. What? Where did he come from? Didn't even realize it was there. Oh, he flashed. Okay. I straight up did not see him until way after I died, though. Okay, GG. Alright, gamers. We are back for another game of Aphelios to Diamond. This game, we are going to be playing Aphelios Senna into Jinx Thresh. So this should be an enjoyable -ish matchup. Should actually have a stand. Should actually stand the chance of maybe winning the matchup. It should be, I think, probably slightly favored towards them, but uh, definitely good chance of fighting back. I like those two Draven lanes. So we're gonna push for level two. Not gonna be able to beat the Jinx naturally, but the very least we're gonna be able to slowly match it. Now their support is actually hitting the minions, which is so bad on both of their behalfs. <laughs> both of them completely oblivious to the fact that they could have helped the other ADC hit level two first, which could lead to a good all-in. Good trade there. We especially uh, we timed it with a fleet by accident, which is really nice as well. He possibly would rather proc the fleet on that auto. We just heal more from it, and it becomes a better trade. Oh shit, he just killed that minion. I'm gonna flash out just to be safe. 
That was pretty bad though, though. Okay, not bad. Gonna have to troll the trades right now because the wave is too big. We want to focus on thinning that out and just prepping the minions to be less edible under turret. Oh boy. Uh, I got into a really bad spot here. I shouldn't have bothered doing anything. My bad. No, there was no chance to win that. What happened there? There's no chance of t like getting a return kill, no chance of saving Senna, I just got far too close for no reason. Let's get this, oh, hang on, full loot and purchase, there we go. Not quite sure what she was doing, they wouldn't have really been basing. Smart trap from Thresh though, I guess, although I really don't see why it should have worked. I don't see why Senna would ever walk up there, but she did. So maybe he's just smarter than me. Because I'm pretty sure Jinx was not basing, because we both had about the same gold. All she could have got was one longsword, which is not really what you want to base for. Wasn't low HP either. And we're just gonna get our own little slow push now. Gonna be rushing Stormers in this game, by the way. Not gonna need the Kraken Slayer for this comp. Actually, I should have been running down green faster so I could use blue to shove in this way faster. I didn't plan ahead there. Don't bother trading, we don't really want to trade. What we want to do is shove. Okay. Decent spacing there. Oh, Senna! <laughs> Takes a lot of damage there while doing nothing. So this uh, Rengar might be able to get something done here. We'll try and contest this pink while we know Rengar's around. Okay, Thresh not going for a hook, maybe it just wasn't up. Could have actually done with getting hooked there, to be fair. Go, Rengar, go! No! Oh, that, I mean, to be fair. No matter what Rengar did, he's gonna die there. No matter what Rengar did, though, that was gonna fail if Thresh was so fast with the Lantern. But my thinking was more he would just run into that brush and go for Jinx. As soon as he saw me walking up to Jinx with purple, he should know I'm about to root her. Anyway, I'm amazed that didn't actually result in any deaths on our side. Okay, that was a fast shove. Maybe I can help with the Drake. I really don't see why we're doing this unless maybe Pantheon has been seen topside. But I'll follow it up. Ooh, actually, uh, I guess this comp I could actually do Emax. Well, it's too late for that now. I guess we'll just commit to WMX now. <coughs> I'm gonna try and back off to a safe spot. I don't want to recall in that pit if possible. This is not entirely safe, there could be a Pantheon there, but I'm just trying to save myself time from having to walk over there, because at least we're in a much safer spot than the actual Drake pit. Gonna be a lot of, well, not really a lot of misfarm, but big wave on a threat. 
And they actually have kill threat on me here. I have to, I have to pretty much insta cleanse Threshok if he throws it at me. If he hits me with it. Okay. A lot of plannings for Jinx there as well. At least it was shared, so not too much solo gold. Careful there. Okay, both me and Jinx just at level 6 at the same time. So at least I'm not too far behind in XP. Might be fine. We'll focus Jinx now. Got the Thrush. Okay, damn, that was so close. How does it end up so low? Ah, oh, that's really not good that she got a double kill there. I was hoping at least Ringer would live. Fuck. Uh, yeah, we're going for Storm Razor. Oh, that's not good. Hopefully he's back in a sec. He did say reset, maybe he meant he was resetting his router? I thought he was telling Senna to reset, you know, recall. Oh, you're telling me this is what happened to Senna? Oh, she hit Thresh once and then lost 90% of her HP. Are you kidding me? She could've just walked into a safer spot and joined the fight. No wonder it felt weird to me. Like, I was, I was like, did she really get focused down to 10% HP there? I don't remember that happening. No, it didn't happen. God. <laughs> there he is. He didn't mean he was resetting his router. That makes total sense in hindsight. I really just thought he was telling Sana to reset. You know, recall. Anyway, that's a cheese move I can't do again. Don't have enough, uh, well... Yeah, I'm not really going to be able to generate enough Jackrams. It all started with a blue Q when I had white as my offhand. How many Jackrams did I have there, actually? It must have been insane. It was blue Q onto... Ooh. I'm probably going to die here. We'll see. Oh, I can't juke that. There's no room. That sucks, because I can only really juke upwards, and I'm being blocked by the wall. If I juke downwards, I'm basically just running to my death still. So that's from Jinx, but, but unfortunate for me. <coughs> okay. They have no stuns for her now, though. This Ranga needs to get away. God damn it. Oh no, what a disaster this Balin has been, man. She had nowhere near this big a shot than when we got her killed earlier. Who knows when the next time we'll get the killer is. She had 150 gold shot down when we killed her earlier. guy doesn't know I can triple up and combo him. What's that, Pantheon? Get away, Senna, get away! Ah, I fucked up, my bad. I'm dead. 
Ah, <sighs> that felt like the longest thrash hook I've ever seen. I wasn't even trying to auto attack anybody, you know, directly. I was trying to do it through the turret. So I felt like I was pretty far away, but... Yeah, no. Just walked up too close. My turret wasn't even hitting anything, so I only got one auto off. I really hate the nerf range on turret. Used to be so much smoother when Ephelos was released. Maybe kill her actually, yeah. She's dead. No, she's not, she has heal, god damn it. This should be okay. Oh, except for the Luxel, what? That was unexpected. God damn it, man. Okay, J Jinx dies to Thresh, right? Or to Rengar, sorry. Yes, let's go. Somebody got the shutdown at least. But man, it would have been so much better on me, unless Rengar can somehow be nine with that. Damn it, I was so sure I'd, I'd already pulled off the outplay that she was dead. There goes the heal, dashing my dreams. She had about 130 HP, she healed for 190, yeah. I had about 60 damage of overkill before she healed. Meanwhile, top lane is not going too much better than bot lane is. In fact, I would say even worse considering the CS gap and the lack of a turret. We can try and cheese Jinx. Thresh is mid for whatever reason, which is useless because he's got nobody to roam on there. Maybe if we're lucky they don't have vision here, Senna's just trolling. <laughs> this is not what I had in mind, but maybe it, it can still work. I think I, like, I'm gonna give up the cannon. I don't care. I want, I, it is worth it to try and cheese Jinx here. We know she doesn't have heal at least. Let's go, so worth it. Nice one. Jinx really should have had a thought about why... I mean, to be fair, like, it didn't actually make any sense, right? Why would Senna be farming while the ADC is trying to flank her and cheese? Because the support is stupid. That's the only reason why. It didn't actually make any sense, except... If she assumed that Senna was just trolling my... cheese attempt. Anyway, that's gonna be a turret for us. Let's at least deny this cannon first. Oh god. She still has more minions, are you kidding me? Nah, actually she... Oh. <laughs> okay, that's fine. No, I think she actually queued onto me, didn't she? So she ran out of Q for a little bit and then just came up again. <coughs> Alright, whatever we're building is going to be out of this, and it should be a gill force. Hmm. I don't want to be bought, but nobody else has had it bought. Like, she can probably just straight up turret at me. I need some sort of help. Okay, nice. Oh, I was trying to time out of the last hit. Oh, well. Really unfortunate that the support of all people got that. Was it a big shutdown? Actually, it wasn't even a shutdown at all, was it? I don't know how. I guess she already had a shutdown before. Already dropped it. Somebody else. Wait, was it Rengar that got the shutdown as well? Ooh, Pantheon got, or uh, Olaf got a big one on Pantheon as well. Yeah, it was Rengar that got it. Okay, yeah, it might actually be winnable at this point the game. We just got a lot of shutdowns. I don't know how the fuck we just got an ace. That seems absurd. Don't know why I used so much red actually. 
I thought I wasn't paying attention. Okay, they got that turret. Uh, there's not much to do here except either push another wave or go for... Grump. Go for Grump. God damn it, stinky. I'm not losing HP though. For what it's worth. Only the Drake was up when all this happened. Because now we may have to fight over the Drake. Nice. Let's go. Free kill. I was fairly confident. Like, I did check out his CS earlier and saw he was fairly low in farm. So I was like, this guy probably can't one-shot me. He probably doesn't have the items. I felt it was a risk worth taking. Alright, we definitely want this Drake. This is huge if we manage to get this. This should have been theirs 100% two minutes ago. The game has turned slightly. I would say we're still unfavored because Jinx, uh, Jinx is still like much more huge than me. Well, it's also much stronger than anybody else on our team. But we're in a much better place than we were before. We actually stand a chance now. <coughs> we don't have mid pro anyway, so I'm just farming camps in the meantime while I wait for the wave to get shoved in. They don't know, I can triple up and combo them right now. Uh oh. Wait, what? Wait, my kid didn't go off. Oh, it did it? It did apparently, but I didn't see it. Oh. Nope. Purple Q. It was meant to be Purple Q. God damn it. Not bad. That's fine, I guess, if I really isn't here. Yeah, I really spot. Okay, go girl for us now. Nice. Go cleanse if I want to remove the exhaust, but I don't think it's worth it. Oh, that's not really. That's why Jinx is walking up so close. Damn it. Need to flush out. That was an awkward flush, my bad. Oh no. I'll do as much AoE as I can. Oh man. Okay, this is good. That's decent. Okay, I got an assist there. Hopefully they should be able to get a relay too. Fucking boss gone. Maybe not. <laughs> Come on. I won't get an assist anymore at this point, but it's not too important. It would be an assist spread quite thin anyway, to be fair. Also, only like 75 gold. Those do rack up though, to be fair. He would like to get those, if possible. <laughs> nice. Oh. Gonna have to go mid if Sun is gonna push this, I think. Or... And I can get more bot farm, or I can get more farm if I go bot, but I'm closer to whatever might happen. Everybody's based out or dead, died at this point anyway, so I guess I'll no, I could no actually for the it's for the best that all of goes bot, so we can split actually. So we'll stay mid. Hello, God damn it, my mouse went. Hey, why are there? Fuck me, man. What was Senna doing, by the way? What? I wasn't expecting her to save me, but also wasn't expecting her to run into her death. What? What was she think? Oh, she was trying to help Rengar? I didn't even notice Rengar was dead as well. She just straight up did not notice. Yeah, really though. That's crazy. Yeah, I had a weird mouse mishap. It's because my fucking keyboard keeps getting under my mouse pad and lifts it up. Let me see where it was. I just got too close to the Aurelia, so I think I reacted to the Aurelia here, but I accidentally stepped forwards like that. Yeah, that's the forwards, or at least, like, diagonally upwards. Not intentional. 
was meant to be moving down already. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, it's a weird thing my keyboard keeps doing. I don't know, like I never used to do it. I don't know why it keeps happening to me now. All right, I think we'll do Runens. We want a quick power spike here. That'll give us a lot of damage. And hopefully enough AOE to carry games. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, what? Didn't she just use that blast gun to escape? She literally just did that. Oh no. Fuck, there's nothing to do here. He needs to run. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, that Q Kulen is way too low, bro. Okay, at least he lives. Oh no! <laughs> Spoke too soon. That's crazy, why is that blast gun already up again? What is the cooldown on those during Infernal? Infernal, uh, what's the... Yeah, Infernal map. Yeah, there was just no way to fight here, unfortunately. I was pretty much over by the time I got there, and I had no front line for me. Oh, come on. That I really is just way too lucky, bro. <laughs> Could I get the Jinx about it? Ooh. Oh, come on. I can cleanse it if she ults. Looks like she won't, though. Nice. On one ammo, we use Q. So we maximize the wave clear. I think this game is unwinnable again. <laughs> Went from being unwinnable to being winnable to being unwinnable. Like it would once again just take them just some doing some massive throw. Okay, I'm really off. But thing is, like even though she missed everything, I'm scared to walk up and out of her because she cues me and kills me one before. It's crazy. Can't really do much here. We, he went way too far forwards there when we should be playing back. We can try and flash on Jinx here. Oh. Oh, fuck me. We tried. Uh, yeah. That did no damage. Got them. Oh, I don't have flash by the way, but I might go for us anyway. Cool. Alright, GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Aphelios the Diamond. This game we are playing. Sona Aphelios. Into Lucian Seraphine. Unfortunately, I'm running cleanse again. This game I thought that I was being forced to run cleanse because I thought that was going to be a Maokai jungle as well as a Seraphine support. But it turns out it's a Maokai top. Who will spend most of the game not interacting with, so I pr probably could have got away with just running Ghost. Oh well. I don't think I'd seen the cane pick yet when I decided to commit the cleanse. Oh, he actually reached me there. No problem. They're heading up to way before us. Really lost at those. Okay, we just barely get the cannon at least. The hell was that? What? 
probably could have timed that better for the last set. My bad. Also, I was not paying attention to Seraphine's damage. My bad. They both ignited me. God damn it. <laughs> Come on, Seraph uh, Sony. You got this. Oh my god. Nice one. Totally did not start out rooting for the enemy support. You might as well try and crash this, because I'm not getting any of this. Bro. Oh, come on. This this ping has one meaning, man. You can't misinterpret it. What else could you interpret with push forward? <laughs> there we go. Good, good. So that's a clean crash. That's exactly what I needed there. Just avoid losing too much farm. Because otherwise, this wave starts killing that wave as well, and it's all pushed onto their side, and I'm getting zoned because I'm 1v2. Okay, nice. One. Oh, hello. What the hell? Fucking hell. That was so unexpected. I was just gonna zone, or not zone surfing, but poker when she went for a ward. Fucking hell. No reason for Kane to be there. Ah, damn. I have to miss that cannon. It is what it is. Couldn't even get XP. Okay, I got a triple weapon combo available to me. Easy. There we go. Okay, we got one kill out of that, not bad. Uh, we can crash this, I guess I will do that. Fucking hell. Maybe I can't actually, this wave, mini wave is actually surprisingly spread out. It's hard to hit all of it with my blue. Actually I can, yeah, nice. That should crash, I believe. Yeah, good enough. One more point in Q, and now we switch to do we max. I haven't, or actually, I haven't even thought about what build I'm doing this game. It's gonna be a tank Maokai, should be a Ross, should be a Vladimir. Um, I think we can still do Stormers, honestly. And we can get a potion. Probably could do with, yeah, probably gonna do Stormers or Girl Force. And as for skilling order, yeah, I think W max should be fine. Actually, no, we'll just try out the Kraken Slayer again this game. See what it's like against the Maokai and Kane combo. Alright, we want to get rid of purple first, so let's switch to purple. Okay, so now that was my CS. Oh, I missed him. No! Oh my god, that was terrible. Okay, but we got her. God damn nice. Dude, what was up with that auto? Fuck the part there. No biggie. Might be okay for this guy as well. Oh, he's going straight onto Sona. I think I just beat him for melee range, right? I'll drop the... Bird just to be safe. I could've got that kind of... Fuck. I don't know if I can shove this in now, though, is the thing. I'll try my best, but we'll save the red Q for when I need to just... Dash away from whoever shows up here, I think. Actually, I should have had time to crash it if I just committed. I will. Oh, I'm dead. Actually, dead now, actually. My bad. Nah, I should have just committed to crashing or leaving. That was lame. Who fl okay, so Seraphine flashed. I don't think Lucian did. We'll just... Uh, oh, no, this is not what I wanted, actually. We'll just commit to rushing the... the first Adam instead of Berserker, see how that goes. Quite liked having Dragon Slayer on Jinx, at least in lane phase. Oh, did they both flush? 
No, I think it was only surfing. Hard to say. Thank you, Sona. Come on. Oh, no, 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 listen. Oh, that blows. Oh, Sona, what? Oh, listen, that ult. Oh, dude, he could have played that so much better then. Damn, we got honey fruit, so it's not even that low anymore. You can just unleash Q and R together when it's green. And they just they just get marked separately. This solution should be dead. Got him. Ah, oh, so close. Come on, come on, Sona. Come on, Sona. Come on. Oh, thank God. Nice. Okay, is this way of pushing towards us? I don't think it is. It's not terrible though, I guess. It's fine, she doesn't have to crush it. She probably wouldn't be able to anyway. Uh, we just end up being able to get Crack and Slurm Berserkers at the same time anyway. So I think having the Ricker Bow was nice. It was letting me kill Costas in two autos instead of three. Pretty handy. That's a nice breakpoint. Yes, the sun's already got a mythic. Come on! Yes! Let's go. Lucian should have ult by now, I imagine. Yeah, that definitely made some mistakes to get end up in this situation. Lucian should have won this matchup. Oops. Nice. Just getting hard the night farm at the moment. God damn, this minion block just screwed me. I need to cleanse it? No. Damn, that wasn't an AOE ult like I wanted. Cleanse it just so we take less damage. And so I guess the surfing awesome. Good shit, how much damage? 88 damage from Kraken Slayer, so... Yeah, I mean, obviously not as great the first item power spike as uh, Storm Reserve. Although it is nice on long range ADCs like Jinx. Because you actually get to harass with it really easily. But not so much for Aphelios. Aphelios, you definitely have a stronger lane with Storm Reserve, so this is just going to be a purely scaling choice. Can get two plettings and also this next wave too. I don't know about getting them there, though. Well, I think we're committed. Oh man, this Leeson is so clunky, bro. Nice one. <coughs> Lucky has the nerf to BM after how clunky his combo was. Ah, damn. Should've let his Q hit first. We don't want to get the next plating, but we can at least get the next wave. How about a Kraken Slayer damage now? 
It's like double. Just one more hit is all we did. Actually, we could definitely commit for this turret. I'm a fellow with red white. Any other weapon in the combination, and I wouldn't be able to, but. Boom. I don't, I don't want to fight here. What am I doing? I have so much unspent gold that I need to spend before I get into another fight. Let's just leave. Oh, dude. Actually, if I cash out my coal, then I get my mythic. I'm going to do it. Also, I think we'll do Infinity Edge this game. A little bit risky, but my payoff. I want to save red for a red ult in case they try and dive. Damn. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Well, that went terribly for them. Damn it. Okay, if I get all three of these, I got my mythic. Nice. I would still like to have another wave, though. Nice. Alright, we'll just shove the whiff. No need to reserve red ult anymore. Drop until... Like, auto attack until one ammo, then use the ability. Boom. Fast as possible, whiff clear. No point dropping white early when it's one of my best whiff clearing abilities. Let's just try it out with the Bloodthirster. Just uh, full AD setup, see how we get on with that. <clears throat> It'll make her Kraken Slayer deal a lot of physical damage. Scales amazingly with AD right now compared to the previous version. Like with bonus AD, I mean. So there's a lot of incentive to build bonus AD when you've got Kraken Slayer. Oh, I saw that on the minimap and I thought that was a ward. I went to turn back to kill it. Should have waited. Actually, maybe I can still do it. No, I can't. Oh, I didn't even see this guy. My bad, and they took aggro. I'm trolling. Might still be okay, though. Yeah, barely. <laughs> well, not even barely. Let's have a lot of protection there. What I meant is no thanks to me. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh, I was trying to sneak it past Maokai. Okay, he got Lucian at least. So we base and I guess get Vamp and Crit Cloak is better than having to sell coal for BF Sword. I'd like to get red buff. Leeson can't share it yet. But he should be able to upgrade his smite with other camps. Nice. I'm glad junglers recognize that they it's okay to hand over red buff before you finished your jungle item. Oh, my bad.
He was so tempted to all of those raptors through the wall, but I must steal. <laughs> God, Farkhanum would be so nice to have in a fellas just purely for purple and only for purple. Oh man, <laughs> what is this? I think I'll play it safe and cleanse. This one. Hmm. Can't really push that turret. I guess I'll go for Raptors. Could also go for the enemy ground, but it's just a bit far away. Hmm. Actually, I suppose I could have. The Raptors are also pretty far away. At least it keeps me closer to mid, though. But it's about the same traveling distance. I'll just hold on to the lost blue ammo for killing this wave. And maybe I can base for Bloodthirster. Yeah, pretty much. I'll just have to wait like 20 gold. This zone is so tanky for what, man? She just went that ages ago. Is she not even gonna die? She is not even gonna die. God damn. Oh, wow. Oh, somebody's AFK on their team. Kane, I guess. That's kind of boring. I never got to test my setup. GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Aphelios to Diamond. Game we're gonna be playing Aphelios Lulu and Draven, well into Draven Blitzcrank. Gonna be quite a tough matchup, similar to the Draven Alistar matchup from earlier, because both of us in this lane are hot countered by Blitzcrank. And Draven as usual, I mean he's fucking Draven, right? He's a tough lane to deal with. No matter what you're playing. So you can have really good explosive follow-up to the Blitzcrank Cooks. At least he's running just Conqueror, which I don't think is as good as Lethal Tempo or Halo Blades. Definitely will be easier laning against that than Halo Blades. Oh, they're already level 2, what the hell? Oh no, it's just Blitz, which is the worst thing. I'm gonna Ghost so I take less damage here. Oh, why does she exhaust now, bro? That's pretty stupid, exhausting once he's, I'm already out of his range. Yeah, I guess Draven must XP. Oh, I never tagged the Draven there, unfortunately. We want to disengage. Whether he's Galitho Temple or Conqueror anyway, I mean, he still obviously gets benefit out of staying in fights for extended periods, so... You'll want to disengage after a little bit, even if the trade is going alright. Just so he doesn't ramp up too much damage with the Conqueror. Oh my god, if she lives. Nah, she doesn't live. That is pretty unfortunate. Uh, I don't know why she was so overextended there. Oh my god, I got him. That was so close. Oh, he almost missed that. It was really close. It's gonna be hard to shove this wave. I think Rengar is pathing topside at least. Oh man, it's kind of wave coming next as well. I think I probably should have just left the wave here actually. I had enough gold for a double longsword. Who knows, maybe Blitz is just basing and then it'll just be me and Lulu against Draven, which should be easy enough to shove then.
Okay. I mean, at least we shoved it, but it should, it's an easy crash for, or easy freeze for them, sorry. Nothing to do about that. <coughs> we'll go for the Berserkers here. We want something that's going to help us avoid Blitz hooks. Moon speed is very useful for that. Yeah, they definitely did not hold this freeze for as strongly as they, or for as long as they could have. They could have made that a much stronger freeze by freezing it further back there, and I think also Driven has just been spam hitting the minions the whole time as well, which doesn't help either. Freezing was definitely the move there, just to deny me some farm. Blitz is okay when you're pushing the wave, because unlike other hook supports, you can just pull people from under the turret, so it's not a big deal. That he's slow pushing instead of, or even just hard crashing, as opposed to just uh, freezing the wave, which you, you would usually want to do an engage support. But at the same time, we are so much more overextended and at so much more risk if we are close to their turret. Damn it. Nice. Uh, I just. I put a point in W out of habit, whoops. I think Emax would have been fine here. But we'll just commit to the W max then. Do we go res on the way? Damn it, I missed the cannon. Just go straight onto Draven. Trying to top my Q for the last hit. Ah, uh, and I failed. What the hell? Oh, was that Hexa Flash? I thought that was a regular Flash. <laughs> okay, we're in no hurry to crash this one. Next wave will be an easy crash. Okay, good enough. Won't bother with the plating, but Lulu can get it if she wants. Come on, commit to the third spell, thieves. What a waste. <laughs> Why not? Okay, we're off to a decent start. Thank God for that rise room. We're still behind in gold to Draven overall, but so long as we're not getting massively snowballed on, then we should definitely be outskilling in the mid game. Both of us definitely have skilled both Draven and Draven. Uh, Draven and Blitzcrank. Sorry, it's been a long day. Okay, Blitz. Not currently in lane. We want to try and abuse this then. I meant me and Lulu, but... Oh, god, she needs to retreat, I think. Oh god, he's back. Oh man, okay. I'll we'll just do some damage, I don't want to give up on this cannon though. <clears throat> Can I get rid of the melees? I don't want them to go under turret and influence the wave state. We've got plenty of... God damn it. I wasn't paying attention, I'm dead now. Oh, actually. Oh my god, no way. No, I was so close to surviving, god damn. Alright, nice one, Lulu. I was gonna say we've got plenty of casters to freeze with. My bad, I don't think I noticed them going in the brush. Okay, not bad, and this is still pushing towards us because I was just setting up a freeze, so awesome. I'll be honest, it was not fully intentional to actually use Red Ult there, that was kind of lucky. I was, at that point I was just like panicking and button mashing. I think I used blue key which got rid of blue and then turned into red and then I Red Ulted. But I think I meant the blue ult. Or I meant the white ult actually. Just turned into Red Ult and I was very happy about it when I realized, oh this is even better. I think we'll try the Kraken again. 
It's gonna be decent against Blitz and against Poppy. Okay, no call for Draven at least. <clears throat> gonna be solo plating for me too. I just need to get the plating and leave though, because I have no vision. They're probably going for the Drake, but they might also go for me. Maybe I should have based. I had actually enough gold for a recurve bow. We could probably all in here. I'm gonna level up on Draven. Wow, so much for that then. Okay, you know what? Let's leave. If I can. God damn it. God damn. Oh, I couldn't rattle. Okay. Well, at least I live. That is so awkward, man. I was fighting only because I was level up on Draven and immediately level ups. Oh god. He does not can triple up and combo him. Nice, I had to sneak it through the minions there, but it still hit. So I got decent weapons for fighting back at Draven here. I can green ult them for some poke. This melee... God damn it, why would it do that? Fuck, that was basically gonna be a triple ability combo at least. Not a triple weapon, but triple ability for sure. Green ult leads to purple Q, which leads to green Q, you know? Here we go. Nearly backing us up. Nice. Oh, she just barely stole that. Oh well. Nice one. Let's get rid of purple. I say we leave that with. I got Kraken Slayer anyway. Actually, ooh, but I I can literally just catch on my cold though if I get all of this, which should be easy. Awesome. Now I can get another quick look. Perfect. Right, what do we want this game? I would say... The opposite option has to be guild for us. It's a little bit soft countered by the Poppy W, but I don't think that's a big enough deal to not run it. Yeah, I mean, don't know why the enemy Bolton is there. Oh, hello. T does not beat me. Ah, can't kill him now. Oh well. If I hit that, I could have dived. Weird that what it was doing there, though, and I don't know why the enemy Bolton was mid either. I just can't risk trying to fight him here because the enemy bot line could be anywhere.
didn't even deal damage. Where are the enemy bot lane though? What? So weird. Okay, that was a pretty pathetic freeze. The two minutes I was trying to freeze with died immediately. Okay, it's happening. Slowly pushing towards us. There's the enemy bot lane. I didn't see this coming. Oh my god, we didn't see that coming, to be fair. But they didn't see this damage coming. Perfect. <laughs> no way. And I'm out of here. Don't even need to help with that. Should I wait 20 gold? For like 15 movement speed? Might be worth. It's probably more like 20 actually. I would say it's worth it. Still need to get that ball in wave. Maybe somebody else can go for the next wave. Rez is recalling anyway. Ow. He dragged the bomb to me. It's gonna take ages for anybody to defend that. <laughs> Cancelled it again. Oh, I got zero farm here. What well, up, Bliss? Come on, if this turret hits any champion, I can triple up and combo them. It's not too late. Oh! He was actually gonna die there. I actually had the range. Holy crap. I actually straight up would have killed him there. Even if Nidalee didn't intervene. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Triple up and combo, baby. So nasty, especially if you combine it with green ult. Oh, hello. Fuck me, I need to maybe flash out. Wait, whoa. What the, what the hell? She flashed over the wall. Nah, but that... Ah. Dude, I was trying to root her. <laughs> Fuck, I should have just done it before I lost vision. That didn't even make any sense. She, I would not have died there if I just ran. Oh well. We live and learn. I don't know what I learned, but I'm sure it'll sink it in any moment now. Oh my god, so close. Oof. Nice, let's go. Still can't sell cool for Gale Force. Oh? No way. What are they playing at, bro? What is going on, bro? Got her. And it's a shutdown, let's go. Revenge. Ah, so that was the lesson. That's what I learned. The enemies... Well, I'll play you because they're stupid, but they will also... Let you all play them because they're stupid. I don't know, something like that. There was a lesson in there somewhere. Ah, he backed off. I probably beat him one v one. I imagine this is not one v one. I don't want to flash, bro. <laughs> what is she doing here, man? You're kidding me. 
What the fuck of all places I could flash into, man. I could've just flashed up. Lulu, don't get distracted. The fellows need your help. <laughs> what? <laughs> Props to him for having patience with that hook, but that is so unlucky. Poppy did not know I was gonna walk there, man. When did the TP start gonna tell? No. But it was already channeled before I chose that direction. Fuck, man. That wasn't even a stupid TP, it was a decent one. You know, probably the best one she could get, and it's just pure luck that it worked out quite as well as it did. Hello. Oh, come on, my purple ran out. Okay, let's go. Jeez, they keep trying to chase me every five seconds. Sure, let's get Baron, I guess. Got decent damage with the Kraken Slayer now. Okay, they got the Drake, that's fine. I'd rather not base until BF's out, honestly. I don't mind if I do. I'll go for the midway first, though. Then I'll stay mid over being tempted to go for that top lane wave. Oh, I can't auto him even. What? Like, I should have vision if he hits the ward. Weird. I don't know why I couldn't. Uh oh. Okay, next. White Q is a triple open combo if I manage to hit someone with it. Don't need to do it yet, though. Oh, I'm about to get stunned. That's fine. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Should've gone for Blitz, actually. All good. Just 
just leave her alive there. Nice. Oof, just barely couldn't root him. Alright, nice one. I'm gonna go ahead and base. I don't think we need to risk pushing for more. Is the red buff up? It is. I will get the raptors if they're up and also the red buff. I think raptors might be down actually. We were fighting over that recently. Nice one. Now I'll just base. Well, if we want to do max damage to Poppy, we should really get the Lost Whisper. So let's do that. She is getting pretty tanky with that build, actually. She's actually quite strong. Make 75 AD from Blood Tester. Okay, Baron is up in 30 seconds, so we should play around top side. Oh man, that was a ballsy move. We should try and pressure Baron now. Oh, why did Kasanti TP bot? What? Wait, that's troll. I mean, we can't really fight now. That was the worst possible thing he could have done there just for some farm. Nobody was even pushing there. He wasn't defending. Terrible. Just gotta wait for him to push then, and hopefully he can exert some pressure. But why does her ult refund? That's so annoying, because it zones you away and then she can just save it for later. Oh man. Nice. Oof. Look, it's back! Like, that's so annoying! <laughs> that's so crazy she can do that indefinitely. I, I never knew that until literally the other day. Probably yesterday. I'm gonna hope it at least costs her mana every time. Still. Alright, I'll just get the red buff, and then I've got Lord Dominic's not even having to soul call. Nice one. How much armor does Poppy have? 300? It's gotta be with a passive. With an active something. What? It's, no, it's just sitting on 380. What? How is that possible?
I'm trying to see if there's anything in her kit that gives her extra armor. That looks obscene. There's no way she's getting that much armor from just two armor items. Three with tubbies. Doesn't have a mountain. Doesn't have five mountains, that's for sure. That's crazy. Do you just always have to build armor pen against Poppy then? Because I never knew that. Can't even read the passives because they just keep changing. <laughs> Literally trying to keep our healers focused at all times. I did so much damage to Zillin and so little autos there. <laughs> oh my god, I almost got driven there. Nice. Next to white Q is a triple weapon combo. Wait, he could die to that, almost. Oh, shit. Okay, got him. I'm a god to this poppy. She can't reach me. Can't kill him, though. <laughs> Alright, let's just stunt, I guess. Alright, so I can wave clear real fast with blue just to play my farm. Boom. <laughs> Alright, that's all the time we have for today, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future, guys. And I will see you guys on the next video. Later, gamers.